hello and welcome back to my channel i'm so happy to have you back today we'll be drafting a pencil skirt pattern together on paper are you excited okay guys let's get started <laughs> okay the first line i'm drawing here is my zipper allowance line just like i did in the previous video i'll be cutting the back and the front pattern draft together that's the skirt together so this here is the zip allowance then i'll fold it oh okay i'm i'm okay also drawing the border line yes like i did in the previous video the border line is just the starting line so whatever measurement i'll be taking will be starting from this line that i'm drawing right now after which i'll be folding my i'll be folding my zip allowance like so and uh continue my with my other measurements okay so you fold carefully yes i'm using a pattern paper you could just do this directly on your fabric guys but uh it's always important to have a have it drafted on paper then transfer to your fabric so that if there is any mistake you could easily correct them on the paper before and not uh, going directly on the fabric and uh, causing damage that uh, you might not be able to correct <laughs> okay guys back to our work okay i'll be using the starting line as the waistline that's the border line and remember guys that i told you in my previous video that when you measure eight inches from your waistline it takes you automatically to your hip line that's it's just like a constant okay so this is me measuring hip uh, eight inches so that i could draw my hip line okay so i'm drawing my hip line right now remember guys eight inches from your waistline measurement takes you to your hip line and uh, remember in this case that i'm using my starting line or my border line in this case as my waistline okay now now i'm trying to take the length of the skirt so it now depends on you if you're making a three-quarter skirt a short skirt that stops on your knee any length right now you place it on your starting line or your waistline and take it to your desired length in this case this skirt is going to stop at my uh, knee so just a little bit below my knee so i am just marking the desired length yes and i drew a straight line too okay okay so guys after this i the next measurement that i'll be taking is my dart measurement i am also bringing back the dart from the previous video uh, your dart, how to get your dart measurement. Dart measurement is your nipple to nipple distance. That's the distance between your two nipples divided by two. So in this case, mine was eight. So divided, divided it by two gave me four. So I'm here marking my four inches from the tip of the line. Yes, to the four inches. Then I'm connecting it. Remember that I'm only doing that from the waistline to the hip line so now i'm taking out my dart intake I'm, I'm taking out half inch on each side for my dart intake and i'm also not extending the dart directly to the hip line so i'm extending uh, by two inches so i'm connecting my dart intake to the two inches extension from the hip line okay so this is just so that the dart doesn't get too long and gives a very funny shape at the end okay so you connect the dots connecting the two sides of the dots okay remember guys that the next measurement to take now is your um, horizontal measurements those are your waist circumference hip circumference and you know the wideness of the skirt if you want it to be a pencil skirt or you want it to just be a straight skirt now is the time to take your measurements for your circumference measurements you divide each measurement by four if your waist is 30 or 40 divide by four and you mark the exact spot uh, exact inch okay and don't forget to add your one inch allowance that uh, your dad took off so that you don't get to have a very small waist uh, that wouldn't even size you so if you're making a pencil skirt uh, okay okay now you take your hip measurements you you put in the exact inch so 
if you're making a pencil skirt you want to minus one or 1.5 inch from your hip measurement so that the down becomes thinner than the hip if you're making a straight skirt you could just put the exact uh uh, uh measurement that you have for your hip yeah that's your hip circumference divided by four you put the exact measurement on the line the last line that's the hem of your skirt so if that is what determines if your skirt will be pencil or straight so this is me connecting the lines that's my of my horizontal measurements yes and if as you can see it has already formed a, a skirt already okay so yes this is just a very simple skirt the next thing that i'll be doing is adding my um, um, seam allowance on the waist so guys it is up to you some people might want to do this on the fabric or you want to do it in your pattern draft you understand so it depends on you so i just decided that i'll do it in the pattern uh, my pattern uh, draft so that at the end of the day once i place it on my fabric i'll just go directly and uh, you know cut my skirt okay so uh the front skirt there's always a curve at the front of your skirt it this particular curve avoids uh the folds in front of skirts if you notice that there are some skirts you wear that have folds it is because that they did not eliminate this uh excess in the front remember that we're cutting two uh, parts together the front and the back so when you you take you go down in the front by half an inch and you blend it to the tip of the waist like i did in this video you could use your ma pattern master to to get a perfect curve but in this case i used my hand okay after this i decided to add my uh, side seam allowance okay so this is me just marking one inch round you know marking my one inch round to get my side seam allowance if you have any question guys please kindly send a um, uh, 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 drop your message on uh, uh, on my comment section and i'll be willing to answer every single message okay so i am also adding my one inch allowance on the hem of the skirt the hem of the skirt is the down part of the skirt where you fold or you turn with your lining if you're going to be lining your skirt so this is the hem of the skirt so i am just joining my drawing my dots my lines together following the dots that i have already measured okay this is just simply what i'm doing so we're always coming to the end of our skirt isn't this so easy to make eh <laughs> i hope you're enjoying and understanding what's going on because uh i think this is really easy to understand okay so we're connecting the dots right now always use your pattern masters in the curved areas guys please make use of a pattern master i promise you that in my next videos i'll be using my pattern masters or my hip curve so this is me just trying to use my hands to make a perfect curve since my 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 body is not straight i wouldn't want to use a ruler in this uh this part so i'm just using my hand to make a better curve instead of using a ruler okay so this i have added my seam allowance so now i'll be cutting out my skirt draft my pattern draft <laughs> so i'll be cutting the back first so that i don't uh, when i'm done cutting the back then i remove the paper for the front and also you know cut out the depth in the front the front uh, center front of the skirt to avoid the folds that uh you might have experience in one of your skirts especially the ones that were sewn by our local tailors okay so this is just me trying to cut out and separate my patterns <laughs> guys i hope you have subscribed to my channel please if you haven't please kindly subscribe to my channel because i have a lot of beautiful things coming up that you will not want to miss out and kindly click on the notification bell like my videos and share with your family and friends <laughs> thank you as you do so <laughs> okay guys this is just me trimming and cutting off my excesses okay so this is my skirts so now i'll be taking out the front and the back i'll be separating them so that i will take out what uh, is not meant to be
before then to just make my work easier i'm using my tracing wheel to trace the hip line okay i'm tracing the hip line i'll be using it to work on the back skirt yes i'll be using the hip line to work on the back skirt so instead of trying to remeasure i'll just trace it so that when i take out the front paper that's the front part of the skirt the traced part will appear on the back so that i'll know that that is my hip line then i'll be able to work on it directly instead of uh, re remeasuring and all that okay guys if you can notice uh, from my video even though it's not so clear you see that the back already has my hip line on it traced so guys i'm taking out the ss that's the i'm, I'm taking out the ss on the front uh, on the skirt that's my front part of the skirt and i'm also cutting out my zip allowance as i will not be needing it okay so i'm cutting out my zip allowance before i begin to work on the back uh, skirt okay so this is just me taking out my zip allowance out my zip allowance guys and remember that uh we are just cutting a single paper because we'll be cutting our fabric on fold yes that is if you don't already know because i know some of us will be wondering uh -uh, but the paper is just one now okay so you always cut on fold especially in fashion designing we cut on fold except for situations where the styles differ okay so Okay, this is my front uh, skirt, my front uh, pencil skirt uh, bodice. I'm just trying to label it now. Front skirt bodice. Mm -hmm. I'm just labeling it. My front skirt bodice. But this, I can use this to make measurement, uh, make a skirt for myself because I used my measurement. Okay, guys. So now we'll be working on the back. The first thing I'll be doing is to highlight my uh, zip allowance, okay? After highlighting my zip allowance, okay? This is me just trying to highlight it, drawing my zip allowance line. After which, I will now draw my hip line, okay? I'm drawing my hip line now. Okay, for our bum area, guys, if, you see this case? If you don't even have bum and you make your skirt like this, you will just see one supernatural bum that will appear. <laughs> so listen clearly. So on this line, uh, hip line, I'll be... Okay, first, let's start from the waist. I'll be taking out half inch. That's, I'll be measuring half inch from my zip allowance line. Okay, towards the end, just like I'm doing so, half inch. Then when it gets to my waist okay half inch and then when oh, oh, then we'll go back to my hip line i'm marking two inches each on each side of the hip line the way like i'm doing in this video i'm marking out two inches okay so after marking two inches then i'll go down to my hem that's the lower part of my skirt and i will also mark half inch Okay, this is the slit area. It depends on the kind of slit you want to make. If it's lap, this skirt right now is the normal open slit or no slit at all. If it is the lapping slit, I will definitely upload a video on the skirt with a lapping slit. Okay, so I'm marking my half inch right now. So guys, I'm trying to get the bomb. I'm trying to get the bomb curve. You know, because if you make this skirt straight, if you just sew on your zip allowance straight, there's always, in this back of the skirt is always almost shapeless. Okay, so this right here gives your bum the shape, brings out your bum, you know, and, you know, gives you the perfect shape. So now I'm connecting the two inches uh, from below the hip line to the half inch on the hem. Okay, and uh, I'll also connect the two inches above to the half inch on the waist okay so if you have a pattern master or a hip uh, curve you could use it in this case okay so this is the curve that i'm talking about you see this the, the protruded part that's where the two inches are uh, is that is where your bum sits perfectly your bum sits, sits perfectly on this and gives you a very perfect shape at the back of your skirt okay so if you're making your skirt without uh you know doing this trick you know i think you want to consider uh redoing your skirt so this is the back skirt 
So I would also advise that you notch the zip allowance part because as you can see, there's already a cuff that looks like the side seam. That's the part where we measured our hip. Okay, so that at the end of the day, you don't end up uh, using your zip allowance part as your your side uh, your side seam. Okay, kindly always notch. Okay, this is just me taking out the SS. Okay, from the the back. Okay, so this is just how your pencil skirt looks like so easy to make and this particular part that we did in this uh, video that's for the bum area you could introduce this to your dresses to your gowns to anything that you're making always try to make your bum area like so and i assure you you know the fit on your dress will take a drastic turn for good <laughs> guys we have always almost, in fact we have come to the end of this video you do you have any question that you would like to ask me kindly drop a message okay on my comment section and i will gladly respond to them okay so thank you so much for watching my video i hope you watched it to the end and i hope you also learned something new kindly subscribe to my channel if you haven't already tell me things that you think that i should improve on as i will be so excited to do so stay tuned guys for what is to come thank you so much bye <laughs>